Good morning. It is um, Tuesday, September 28th, and um, I have a lot of peaches that I need to take care of. Um, and so I have my little processing station set up right here. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to get these peaches peeled because they're not organic and uh, cut up and put in the bowl, and then I'm going to can them later. So. Okay, so I got eight pints of uh, out of those peaches, and I had some that were bruised, and I had some that were really soft that were overripe. So what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to make some into a peach syrup for um, ice cream, banana ice cream, um, and the others I'm going to turn into an extract. So um, we'll be doing that today. Um, these need to hold the phone. Okay. Um, these are in a one-to-one -one syrup. Um, I think that's a light or um, medium syrup. I'm not sure. But it's a one-to-one -one syrup ratio. And these are going to process in a water bath canner for 25 minutes because they are pints. If it were a quart, it would be, um, I think, 30 minutes. For quarts, it would be 30 minutes. So um, these are cold... I'm doing, I did the cold pack method. So I'm just gonna pop those into my um, pot that is ready. As many as will fit. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's only six will fit in a thing. So I'm gonna get my other pot and I'm gonna go ahead and get these going at the same time. I have two pies, but one won't hold as much, so I'll hold the, that thought. Okay, I've got these two started for the water bath. Um, it's going to take them a while to come to temperature. Um, the peaches that I'm going to turn into a syrup are in the pot with a little bit of water, and I'm um, going to cook those down for a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to cook those down because it's not as many peaches as you typically would use for a syrup, but these peaches are very... Um, fragrant and very flavorful so I'm, I'm just <laughs> um, I used four cups of water and um, I don't know three cups of peaches and I'm just gonna boil it down and then we'll strain it um, so when they're ready then we'll strain that and then uh, see how much liquid we have and turn that into a syrup so and don't worry it'll work <laughs> um, so my water is ready for my coffee, finally, and I'm going to make some, actually I think I'm going to make some tea this morning. So um, we'll be back shortly. Okay, so what you need to know about glycerin extracts is, one, glycerin is very high calorie. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, there are several recipes that you can use. Uh, most of them for, for dried herbs, though you do like, um, uh, to uh, one to one, uh, just different ones. Um, I'm going to do the three to one. Um, you can just use straight glycerin if you want, but I don't want that much because it is made from a fat, so it's very, very high calorie. <clears throat> the reason I'm not using alcohol, I prefer to use alcohol. The reason I'm not using alcohol is I haven't learned how to make alcohol yet myself. And um, the alcohol that you get from the ABC store, well, we can't go in there because, you know, the mask, whole, whole mask mandate. Anyway, so I am uh, have to use glycerin. <laughs> so you can use straight glycerin. I'm, like I said, I'm not going to because it's really, really high fat. Um, so if you're using dried herbs, you're going to use uh, more of a water mixture. The, the, your water content is going to be higher uh, because you're going to have to rehydrate the herbs. Um, but I'm going to use one, two, three. One part water to three parts of this. Now I have a quart jar, but the peaches are taking up some of the space. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to do three quarters cup of water and Two and a quarter cups of water. Some of you probably already figured that out. <laughs> okay. 
So three quarter cups of water and two and a quarter cups of glycerin. I said that wrong. Oh crap. I just built it down the side of the jar. <laughs> Yep. All right. I'm gonna have a mess to clean up right there. So I'm going to get, or I spilt it. Now, this does not pour like water does, okay? It pours out like, it just doesn't pour like water does. So, I spilt it pretty good. So, I'm going to put my lid on <coughs> and bring it over here and wash it. <laughs> That's really weird. It, it looks like a bunch of tiny hairs. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. That's just weird where the water is starting to mix with the oil or separating the oil rather. And so you're gonna want to shake this preferably every day would be best. And it's gonna take months, um, at least six months for glycerin. So I will be shaking this every day. I'm going to store it in a dark place and I'm going to take the tomato label off the lid <laughs> and I'm going to mark it with peaches. Okay. If you're looking for a good way to label your produce without um, having labels you can't get off or without writing on the lid. <clears throat> And without using the, the labels that dissolve. Masking tape. Or blue painter's tape. Either one will work. They'll peel off really easy. I mean, if they're left on there for years, they will leave a residue that will not be able to be removed. Um, but when they get wet, they'll just peel right off. So they're really easy to put on and remove. So I guess my next step is <coughs> to figure out how to make alcohol. <laughs> but I did want to try the glycerin. Um, I'm not sorry I did um, because now I know. I will use this and probably won't buy another one. I will just figure out how to make the alcohol myself. I do have, uh, because I have the, a lot of the fermenting uh, kits, I do uh, have the equipment needed to make alcohol for extracts, but um, I obviously don't have the know-how yet. <laughs> My peaches are boiling. So I decided I'm not gonna to strain them out because I, I didn't strain out the raspberries um, for the syrup, raspberry syrup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my immersion blender very, very carefully because it's boiling hot. Um, let me give you another tip. Do not get in a rush when you're canning. Do not get in a rush when you're canning because when you do, you're gonna do something really fast and you're gonna end up with a second degree burn on your stomach uh, 
happened to me yesterday, um, from splashing boiling water on yourself. So <coughs> take your time. <laughs> There's no rush. I do not have a plug in on this side and there's one right there but it's not going to reach so i'm going to move my pot over here and blend it over here off camera sorry okay so no burns and this is our peach uh, liquid so i have four cups of liquid right here and i made one pouch of the liquid pectin because it's just more reliable I'm gonna stir that in and it's like really close to boil already and I need to time this 25 minutes this one's boiling ouch so this is my peaches that are processing uh, 25 minutes to process get the timer set we are at a boil already so I need uh, six and three quarter cups of sugar one two Three, four, five, six, and three quarters. All the relishes and sweets and stuff that I've been making have really been um, uh, uh, working hard on the sugar that I have in the house. So I'm going to need to restock that. What'd you want, honey? Yes. And it's almost at a boil already just with the sugar in here. And I still don't have it stirred in. I have some jars ready. I don't know if it's going to be enough. We'll see. I really like to uh, use the same jars when I'm canning something to um, make sure it's it looks aesthetically pleasing. But I have a bunch of jars over there that are just like mismatched, so I'm gonna use those because they're ready. I'm gonna need my. <coughs> My tea is finally ready. I'll get to drink it eventually. So if you hear me like coughing and mm -hmm. clearing my throat, <clears throat> I have allergies. And um, I mowed yesterday, so that made it even worse today. Usually by about 11 o'clock, I'm like clear and good. So the peaches here are, um, they are so fragrant. I've already washed my hands like four times and my hands still smell like peaches. So they are very, very fragrant. Okay, we're at a boil that I cannot uh, stir down, so we need one minute on the timer. <clears throat> now, the yesterday I made some cough syrup and it did not turn out into a syrup. It turned out into like a, a very, very sweet tea. <laughs> Southern sweet tea, yeah. It was not uh, syrupy enough for a cough syrup, so I'm gonna use, I, I could redo it. Um, and add some more sugar to it and cook it back down. But I'm just going to make another batch and I'm just going to use that for tea. And just uh, put a couple of tablespoons in my cup with some hot water and you'll be good to go. Because it's already sweet so you don't need to add sweetener probably. I need to turn that down with some edges. pulling pretty hard. <clears throat> don't pull out, don't pull out. Okay. As you can see, it was like pretty close to boiling out. All right. Mm -hmm. so let's see how many of these jars we can get filled. I'm going to go with the good ones first. Mm -hmm.
these two thin cameras you can't get your head in or you can't get the what you're doing in anyway um <laughs> i don't have enough to fill up one of those jars so i'm just going to get uh, one of the jars that we save um i'll show you no you're not gonna work I really like to use these for putting spices in, um, but I already have all my spices in my drawer, so I have extras. And I'm going to pour the last of this in here. Or that won't fit in one of the jars. And I'm not gonna water bath process this one. Hot. Okay, so I got one pint, two of the um, 12 ounce jelly jars, um, and three half pints. So that's, that's actually not bad. Thank you. Mm. I usually have them over here ready to go, but I was, so this was kind of a spur of the moment thing. I was like, ah, I have extra peaches that are bruised that are not gonna look pretty in the jar. So, um, let me can them into something else. So if you don't have something that look, so even if you have fruit or produce or something that doesn't look pretty, um, it may still be useful. And these will water bath process for 10 minutes. I usually go for 15 because it says leave them in there five minutes. So that's done. My peach extract is done well it's prepared it will be done in about a year i like the peaches are breaking up that's how soft some of those peaches were that's all right it's not gonna go bad in this and i'll be back we'll be back <laughs> uh when these are done and when these are finished processing and i'll show you the whole lot Okay, another difference between uh, vegetable glycerin um, for extracts and um, alcohol extracts is, um, well, A, there's no alcohol in it, but also um, the length of time that it will preserve for. Um, alcohol is good for, sorry about the shakiness, alcohol is good for four to six years, whereas glycerin only two to four two years I think two years um, so it doesn't last as long on the pantry shelf so just keep that in mind if you're going to use glycerin versus alcohol for preserving extracts Yahoo bless you and keep you and give you shalom. Until next time, Yah bless.